So I thought that everyone was still wearing the Mao <laughs> uniform. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. Today I am in a small city in Qinghai, Northwest China, and I am together with two new friends. Hi! Welcome to Miriam and Shifa. Hello. Hey, can you guys introduce yourself a little bit? Uh, yep. Yeah. Um, in, in what aspect do you want me to? <laughs> <laughs> Tell them who you are. Hi. Um, Advertise for yourself. Um, I'm Shifa. What are you doing? Uh, yeah, Where sorry. Are you from? I'm from Indonesia basically, but I live in Incheon and I moved to China since January early this year. And I've got a week off and so, fly, not flying, like took a train to Lanzhou and then Xining and then met these two, which is very incredible yeah. to spend the time with. I stalked her on YouTube <laughs> and I sent her a comment and she replied and I was like, oh my god, she replied and then I found her I mean, Instagram. Of course, why would I reply? Seriously, <laughs> I'm not a Beyonce or something. <laughs> So she replied and I sent her a message on Instagram and we became friends on WeChat and then she told me that she was going to Xining and I said oh my god I also have another friend here so <laughs> why not make a spontaneous trip out of it I had just arrived back in Beijing and then I bought a ticket for Xining a few days later and Xining is the capital city of Qinghai yes and Miriam who yes. are you? I am Miriam and I am a Swedish person <laughs> I have lived on and off in China since 2015 and I moved to Qinghai 2017 mm -hmm. yes <laughs> in February so I've been here for about half a year and that story is super exciting we're gonna put that in another video so the story of how why we are here in this little uh, is it a town I guess it's only a town mm, right it's very, very small, small right yeah. yeah it took us look Four, Four hours. hours out of um, Xining. Yeah, we went through. We were from a lot very excited meeting. to like. Oh, when <laughs> are we going to reach this place? I mean, it was beautiful, right? The it was beautiful. And, it was um, it was really stunning, but stunning. but it was a long trip and yeah. it was very bumpy. Like, boom, yeah, boom, boom. there was like, no you stop sleep. in no. between, so we no. were like sitting the whole no pee hours. break. Yeah, like, <laughs> I had to. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> so we are here because Miriam's husband talked to a guy in the airport, and he's a monk in this city or town, and he. I don't know why, I think we were just talking about what to do when I was here, right? And then yeah. we contacted him and then he was like, yeah, of course you guys should come. Chinese people are so really welcoming yeah. always. Mm. So now we're sitting here in his house. He had to do some stuff, so he went out and we are just uh, sitting here and drinking our milk is it tea. Like Tibetan milk tea, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so in this video, we just wanted to talk a little bit about our first impressions or like culture shock kind of when we came to China first. So the thing is because Shifa is from Indonesia, so mm. it's not like there was this crazy culture yeah, shock. Yeah, I mean, I'm from, I'm Asian myself, and so technically in terms of how the community works, we're still, we both, not we both, I mean, we are all communal. In terms of how this society works, but um, the thing that I was so shocked about China was um, it's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> it was expensive more oh, over here. Sorry. Sorry. It was more of expensive more than I thought it would be. Mm. And um, I came during the winter, winter and the spring festival, and so it was like ghost town. I was like, where? where oh, are that's people? true. Yeah, it's mm. really deserted in the big cities during uh, Chinese. Film. Yeah, I I, I had a night in Kunming and it was. Ooh. empty <laughs> and even in Yinchuan like Endless. smaller city like <laughs> So, so yeah, maybe you should introduce Yinchuan. Yinchuan is the capital city of Ningxia, so that's like the is it neighbor province? I think. Uh, so what West province? Um, yeah. Ningxia. Yeah. 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 Neighbor yeah. province here. So Yinchuan is what is Yinchuan? Um, technically, it's <laughs> um, if you want to see Chinese Muslim, <laughs> that's where the most of Chinese Muslims mm. reside. I mean, you will find a lot of them in Lanzhou mm. and as well as in um, Xining. Oh. 
Wow, now we're getting food. We're so, we're so dry. That's, that sounds weird. But, we're um, so dry. <laughs> Did you say that? Yeah, but the area is surrounded <laughs> by desert. So oh, okay, it's okay, dry. Okay. It's dry, which is sometimes nice. But during the winter, it's like needle. It's not nice. But the people know. are a lot more genuine, I would say, of course. Very than, welcoming. Yeah, because there are very, very few oh. of um, foreigners. You don't need a lot of them. Like Northwest is not so visited for for Westerners. Correct. But Incheon is very famous in Arab countries. Mm. As oh, usually oh. like Arab Expo is okay, held yeah. there. That's actually the bridge okay, between yeah. the Arab countries mm. with the Chinese government mm. as well. When did you come to China the first time? I came to China 2015 in February. In March. 2015, yeah. okay. And um, what was your first impression or like thoughts about China? China? Well, I didn't have any at all expectations. No? I had, no, oh. I didn't know anything about China. <laughs> I didn't... I'd never been to China, I'd never been to Asia. Well, I've been to India, but it's very different. Mm, so, I guess, yeah. Um, I didn't have many expectations. I guess the attention is one thing. Like, hmm. when you get off the yeah. <laughs> airplane, you get up in the, in the entrance hall, the You're airport like, and people yeah. are just coming. Ooh, taxi, taxi. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's true. That's another kind of attention. I was thinking about all the staring and like, yeah, but that too. I yeah. guess that goes together. Like you yeah, get oh, stares yeah, okay. and from everyone, and then people who want to make yeah. them just approach you. Mm. And it's the first time I was in a country where I couldn't speak language. Mm. Um, that's a huge was, barrier. Yeah. I realized that's a little annoying. That's why I learned Chinese because I was like, I like talking. I don't want to be silent for the next six months, <laughs> so <laughs> I have to learn Chinese. Yeah. yeah, like my okay. first stop was campus. Oh, okay. okay. Did anyone pick you up in the airport? No. Ooh, taxi. <laughs> okay, I was picked up and like people would come here with. I came with a friend because oh, I okay. came about a week before school started, or like mm -hmm. the semester started. So okay. we were like in traveling and looking around for mm -hmm. a week or so oh. before. I mean, campus is very different, but I think that's different for all countries. Mm. In Sweden, there's no like one campus. Campus, no, and no, there's just either. one building here and then one building oh, in another away, place. One half an yeah. Away, yeah, yeah. Mm. And here, everything was together, and it's, it's like, like a little, little city. community. Yeah, yeah <laughs> city. You can city do city. everything you need. Mm. There's even yeah. a little hospital. Yeah. yeah, you don't need a life outside a campus in China. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you don't need anything else. But I would recommend you to go outside. A campus. I, I would too. I would too. I don't. Yeah, yeah. I would too. I, I actually when I came to China. I thought I thought that everyone was just would be the same as me, just yeah. with black hair and that uh, darker eyes. Yeah, <laughs> I literally thought that, and uh, and then I learned the world was like a cultural differences yeah. and like yeah different ways of thinking, and I was like oh that's a thing too. I see that now because yeah. I was really surprised why some people just did not understand what I meant, and I thought well that's obvious. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> That's always for Danish person. Yeah, mm. it comes slowly. Like both. Like I never had the real culture shock. Like wow, yeah. bam! It comes. But like, it comes like yeah. oh, I've done something wrong all the time. Yeah. Like oh, I should not be doing this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I think think I learn most about culture just when I'm in people's house. Like visiting yeah. friends. The first time I visited True. Chenny's friends, like stayed in their house. Mm -hmm. Then I like oh. You this learn a lot. Yeah. yeah, I've done so many mm. wrong things, and then because yeah. people are too polite to tell me, and I'll Not afterwards much, I learned yeah. it, I would just be so embarrassed. For me, just <laughs> names is one of those things. Oh. Like, I mean, in yeah. Western culture, you have to learn people's names. Yeah, and you have to right. call them by name. Like it's really mm. important. Mm. So here, I always ask people's names, even yeah. if they're older than me. Maybe yeah, like 30, 40 year olds, I would ask their name and call them their name. Ooh, which is just yeah, so that's true. <laughs> so <laughs> like, like, yeah, yeah. That's so true. Like, yeah. In, I I afterwards, I'm like, oh, I just learned that I can't call you by name. What should I call you? Yeah. <laughs> you should have told me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awkward. So, if you're a Chinese person and you're hanging out with foreigners and they're going to China or you're in China, you should really like help them you know in a nice way just say oh yeah. next time just remember to do this instead of yeah or uh, do this or like yeah yeah i just came i came as a when i was 19 the first mm. time and i was just like whoa everything is so big here like it's yeah. huge it's like i like i think i've said this before on camera as well that i read a lot of his history books about china 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I thought that everyone was still wearing the Mao <laughs> uniform. <laughs> and I was like, why do people Did you have say that everyone was like holding here. bamboo or something? Well, not maybe with not that far, but like <laughs> with the hat and the little red book. I was like, yeah, of course, like Cultural Revolution. I've just read about that. <laughs> and like me, Dummy Bird didn't remember that it was already 40 years ago or like more than 40 years ago, right? Yeah. It was, it's just really embarrassing now when I think about it. But yeah, Ling Ling was a little slow at that time, I guess. <laughs> but I think a lot of people do that because we don't see a lot of Chinese it, culture, yeah. like modern culture. Like yeah. modern, yeah. what are they doing now? Like yeah. modern Chinese Lady Gaga is not really on Western TV. No. <laughs> or like <laughs> people playing on their iPhones. Well, maybe now they share more about WeChat sometimes in the Western media, yeah. but... I'm not sure if they do or if it's just that we see it. Yeah, like, maybe because we're looking for it, yeah. we're looking for the Chinese yeah. stuff, I guess. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like my family and friends that don't. <clears throat> I mean, if there's a big thing happening, they know. Mm. But general Chinese culture is not. No like, society yeah. right now, like modern modern Chinese lifestyle, I guess. Yeah. No, no, yeah. So um, I think we all we handled it pretty well. You see, we're still <laughs> here. <laughs> so <laughs> that's a good thing. I yeah. after my first shark, I kind of like. Just went with it and, you know, learn how to use chopsticks and learn how to <laughs> call a cab and, you know, yell at the waiter to make sure that she would come at some point and, yeah. yeah. You just take one day at a time here in China and also if you're sitting somewhere in China thinking, oh my god, I'm not sure I'll survive this, you know, one day at a time. Yep. Do not stress <laughs> about it because China is a different culture. Uh, but if you still. are very, um, you have the exposure to Asian culture in general, as in how the society works as a communal mm. society, because yeah. I know in the West um, it's more of an individuality, and it's still, personal space, yeah. and everything yeah. like that. And so. it's rice every day still. Mm. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was something I had to get used to. Oh well, my god. I don't eat rice because I'm too happy. Oh, so okay. <laughs> but the same, right? <laughs> well, gluten, <laughs> everything like yeah, that. Yeah, I, I still, as I told them as well, when I'm alone, I don't eat rice and noodles at all. But yeah, I try not to eat rice. No, it's, it's too to heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. too heavy in the summer. And don't uh, stress too much on simple things. No. Just don't waste too much energy on that. Like Because mm. some people would bring their own standard back mm. home and then sit down here. I mean, you can't do that. No. You have to adjust. Yeah. yeah, remember to always say, oh, it's just because it's another culture. I use that a lot. If I get angry yeah. about something, I'm just like, remember, it's another culture. It's yeah. just different, you know, it's, yeah. that's just how it is. And if I want it to be like it is at home, I should go home, you know. So yeah. that's the thing when you go abroad, you have to be a little more open-minded and uh, yeah. ready and that for Nothing is wrong and nothing is right. It's just nothing. Yeah. Different people and different minds, different cultures, different everything. So that was our video here from this little town in <laughs> Qinghai. I think our friend is coming back. Soon we're gonna go out and check out some temples and have some fun. So thank you for uh, joining here in my uh, little video. We have a little <laughs> chat here in the Tibetan house. I think it's so cool. I'm yeah. so excited about this. <laughs> Hopefully they can see. So anyways, thank you for watching guys. We hope that you are happy, happy wherever you are. We'll see you soon. Ling Ling Sai Chi and Sai Jian. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> I also did this stuff. Yeah. <laughs>